Welcome back everybody to Bar Ambassa TV. I hope you enjoyed my last whiskey sour video. I am sure we're the one or the other already sipping on their ice cold whiskey sours. Now I'm going to show you a little twist on a whiskey sour, a drink that we've been serving for quite some time in the Bambasa. It's a drink uh, which uh, comes back from the world class, uh, Diageo world class time uh, when I took part in the world finals. It's called the Scottish Rhapsody. So it's actually a whiskey sour, a clear whiskey sour, so a milk punch. So I'm going to show you how to make a milk punch at home. Very simple. Uh, for this drink, I take Talisker 10, because I love the smokiness of the whiskey um, from Isle of Skye. Gives this beautiful salty, smoky taste that I love in a whiskey sour. Then what I use is fresh lemon juice. Again, this is lemon juice that we squeezed in the morning, so it oxidates over uh, the time of four hours. It loses the bitterness and the sourness comes through. We have some orjat. We have ginger syrup and then we have some honey syrup. What I also need for this drink is a little bit of almond oil <coughs> and then uh, full cream milk for the milk punch. So let me start off with the ingredients. First of all, I take a nice measure of Talisker 10. We're gonna take approximately uh, 50 mLs but of course you can do some more so let me just uh, top that up because it's very important with a milk punch to make a nice big quantity you can keep it quite a long time in the fridge so don't be scared it's um, two parts of an alcoholic uh, base in this case we're going to take the Talisker 10 then we're going to take one part of lemon juice Go. And then we're going to take a half a part of syrup. So for this I'm going to take the jigger and I'm going to mix all three syrups together to make it that half a part which is um, 0.25. There we go. Add that to the drink. Then we're going to take a small amount of almond oil. Mm, just a, two drops is enough. There we go. And then I need a spoon. A few moments later. Mach ich Where the fuck is the spoon? <laughs> So now it's important to give the cocktail a quick stir and more important to taste the drink because after you let it through the milk punch process you will not be able to change the drink because it will lose its color or lose the clarification. So let's just taste the drink. Perfect, that's the way it should be. The sweetness and the sourness with the almond, the ginger, the whiskey of the Talisker 10 just comes through. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a nice measure of milk. It's full cream milk, very important. And then what we do is we will just add the uh, liquid to the milk and you will see straight away that it's going to start to curdle. Okay, so let me pour this in for you. There we go. Now you can see all the white flakes that are appearing. What this happens, the milk mixes together with the acidity of the citrus and now it's going to filter all the particles that make the drink cloudy out. So it's going to combine uh, the different uh, elements. So what we're going to do now is, I've prepared a little coffee filter with a very fine coffee filter syrup on top. And we're going to pour that into this filter very slowly. There we go. And we're going to let this sit for about approximately 12 hours. So it's going to take time. This is not a drink you can make now and serve it in 10 minutes. This is a drink you have to prepare the night before or in the morning when you wake up. 
So let's see how it looks like after about 12 hours. One eternity later. So welcome back. It's been 12 hours since we started our milk punch. And now, as you can see, it's just about to finish and the milk punch is all clear. So this is what happens when you uh, let, uh, curdle the milk with the liquid and let it sit through a coffee filter for about 12 hours. So let me just take that away. There we go. And now the drink is very simple. All we do is we add some ice to the liquid. There we go. I'm just going to use the same vessel that I dripped the cocktail into. We'll just give that a nice little stir. Beautiful color. Don't seem to think that there's any lemon juice or ginger syrup or jet or even the dark whiskey. So colors away. Take a nice big ice cube. Of course, we're gonna stamp it with our Bar Massa logo. Pop that into the glass. And then very gently, we're just gonna pour the liquid over the ice block. and garnish the drink with a dried ginger chip that you can make in the oven. Just cut up ginger, very thin, put it out on an oven um, tray. Thank you, Sean, oven tray. <laughs> and let it dry overnight while your milk punch is dripping. Uh, about 50 to 55 degrees with a little open uh, door and then there we go. There is your milk pot, Scotty Rhapsody, Scottish Rhapsody. Um, enjoy. Mm, perfect. All right. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more. If you like us, like us, follow us, subscribe, and share us. Thanks, guys. Stay safe, and first, uh, main, mainly stay healthy. Cheers.